Well, election officials say runoff races are bringing many people to the polls. The three races facing a runoff are the Charleston Mayor's Race, Charleston City Council District 9, and Folly Beach City Council Race. Emily Johnson tells us more about what the turnout looks like and breaks down the numbers. A runoff election that is bringing attention to voters throughout the area. Berkeley County Elections Director Rose Brown says 427 people voted early yesterday at the Daniel Island Library compared to the entire first week of early voting in the general election with 333 votes. Brown says they're glad to see the numbers go up because it shows that people are interested in their civic duty of casting their vote in the Charleston mayor's race. I think because it's more focused and it's just one office and I have seen debates on the local news um, from these candidates and I think that has the interest in the general public. Charleston County's Board of Voter Registration and Elections officials say the city of Charleston has seen 1,600 voters as of this morning. A total of 6,290 people voted early in the city's mayoral race across two weeks of early voting prior to Election Day on November 7th. The board says that the turnout has been very steady for the runoff's early voting, but wait times remain minimal. You know, we're seeing that kind of increase, but I think it will level out as we get to um, the end of the week. But we should probably see over 3,000 people uh, vote early in this runoff, and I think that is a really good number. Voters who live within the city limits of Charleston or Folly Beach will be able to vote in at least one of these races. In Charleston, Emily Johnson, Live 5 News. Early voting for the runoffs go until tomorrow from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Board of Voter Registration and Elections located at 4340 Corporate Road, the organization's new headquarters. The election will be held from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. next Tuesday at the normal polling locations.